If you've been following events in the boxing world recently, you will know that there's rumours going around of a potential four-man tournament that's potentially targeted for Saudi Arabia or the Middle East for December. Now, this tournament consists of four heavyweights, and that's Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua. The rumour going around is that Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder will have a fight, and Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk will also have a fight. And then the winners will go on to face each other in a final. And it'll be over three fight nights, I'm guessing. Right, so I was thinking about it. And on paper, this sounds amazing. You know, we're getting some big heavyweight tournament. Oh my God, we're going to get Undisputed. We're going to get AJ versus Wilder. All the fights we've wanted in. Great. Then I was thinking about it even more. Because obviously you smoke a joint and you do that. And I was thinking about it even more. And essentially, has anything really changed? And you guys are going to say, what are you talking about? This is great news. Of course it's changed. We're going to get some big fights. Right, but let, check this out. Wasn't the plan, right, I know the Undisputed didn't happen now, right, but wasn't the plan to always revisit it in December anyway when the Saudis would have the stadium ready or whatever. So I'm pretty certain I'd, I'd read that and, and seen that rumour. So they were looking to revisit Undisputed later in the year anyway. And Anthony Joshua was always going to have one fight and then he was going to have another tune-up and then he was going to go into a big fight with either Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury and that was always pencilled in for the end of the year. So essentially, the fights we're talking about, the Wilder, AJ and Fury Usyk were already sort of penciled in for the end of the year, you know, pending agreements, site fees, fees or whatever, but ultimately that was the, the talk of the town, like that, that was the thing. So has anything really changed? It's still looking like AJ Wilder for the end of the year, and it's still looking like Fury Usyk end of the year, if these rumours are to be believed. Now what doesn't make sense to me is the fact that Anthony Joshua is willing to not take a summer fight and go straight into a potential fight with someone like Wilder. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm going to do a separate video on that, so I don't want to delve too much into it now, but it's irresponsible, very, very irresponsible if you ask me, and a potential recipe for disaster for AJ. But as I say, I'll save that for another video. Ultimately, right, so going back to this, AJ doesn't look like he's going to take a summer fight. He's going to go straight into this alleged tournament if it happens. But I'm pretty certain that Alexander Usyk is going to have to fight Daniel Dubois if he wants a chance of going into this tournament with three belts. So he's going to have to get that mandatory out of the way before this December potential tournament. Tyson Fury, there's no way he's going to go into a big tournament like this or an Usyk fight without having a, a tune-up in between. So he's probably definitely going to fight, I'd say, summertime. And Deontay Wilder, he fought in, what, October, was it, last October? There's no way he's going to go that long without fighting and then going straight into an AJ fight. So i got a feeling all three of the other guys will end up fighting before this alleged tournament comes around. And then Anthony Joshua, the one who needs the fight the most in between, will be the only one not fighting. Get your head around that. And if these rumours are true and the tournament is going to happen, AJ not taking this fight um, in between show, says a lot about his confidence and his team's confidence in him because they're ultimately not willing to risk losing before the Wilder fight because obviously the, the tournament will go out the window if he loses before then. That's that's what I'm taking from it anyway. So it doesn't look like they're too confident in their guy. And this rumour um, came about or was made official by Simon Jordan of TalkSport. Now, I, I'm not sure where I saw things. My brain's like a bit of a sieve. But I'd read or heard somewhere previous to Simon Jordan that there was talks of a potential tournament in the Middle East for the end of the year. So he probably got it from the same source I did. I can't remember where that is. I can't quote it, unfortunately. But you have to take me my word. So even though there is a potential tournament on at the end of the year, I don't think anything has changed on paper. Realistically, they're all going to do what they were going to do anyway. Um, I, I don't like it might affect a potential Andy Ruiz, um, Deontay Wilder fight. They may opt to not bother with that and give Deontay Wilder someone easy or easier. Alexander Usyk should be alright with Daniel Dubois to be honest. I don't see him uh, taking any injury, picking up any injuries or losing that fight or any cuts or anything that will keep him out of a potential December showdown with Fury. And Tyson Fury, I still believe he needs a big name on his resume uh, just to make up for not getting on this beauty done earlier. He's going to want a big name. He's going to want to win the crowd back over. So I'm expecting a big summer fight for him. I'm not sure who. I'm leaning towards Ruiz, but I'll settle for Joyce. I think it's going to be one of the two. I can't see him dropping below that, but you never know with these things. And also, like every, before everyone jumps on the bandwagon and says, oh yeah, it's definitely happening, this, that and the other, I just remember that these guys have got like a lot of politics that come with them. It's not necessarily always easy for them to work out things like network and this, that and the other. And I'm telling you this, there's no way uh, BT Sport are going to forego their rights for a pay-per-view on that. I don't care who's who's paying the site fees or whatever. BT Sport are going to want it. Sky, The Zone, ESPN, 
Showtime, Fox, whoever. There's going to be loads of people who are going to want this. So it's not straightforward as old Saudis pay the site fees and everyone gives up their viewership rights or their t TV rights and this, that, and the other. I don't think it's going to be that straightforward because these it's four big names. Actually, let's be honest, it's three big names in Usyk. And I doubt their network is going to be dictated to. It's too big for them to be told who's going to have the footage and who's not. It's not going to be, it's not going to work like that, I don't think. So there's still things to be ironed out. As I said before, I don't think a lot has really changed. I'm still, still really skeptical about the whole thing. I mean, nothing's been signed. They, they, it's the route they were going to go anyway, but they ultimately they still had to go through a negotiation. So I don't really know what to make of it. I'm not getting too excited. I think it's it's good that there's a rumor going around. Maybe even if there wasn't something like that that was going to happen, maybe it will spark some rich person's interest and they'll put on a tournament like that. I mean, ultimately, they've seen the interest. They've seen how the rumors of it has piqued everyone's interest. That all the UK press have picked up on it as far as I'm aware. I'm guessing it'll be the same in America as well. So there's potential legs to this thing and it's a nice rumor and it's, it's, it's good to think about it happening. But ultimately, in reality, nothing has changed from a few days ago. All we know that that we didn't know before is that Anthony Joshua isn't fighting in the summer. That's the only fact we have on paper. Everything else just speculation. So I wouldn't read too much into it. But even if it is true, it's pretty much the direction that they were going in anyway. We were hoping to get that for the end of the year anyway. That's all I got for this one, guys. You guys let me know what you think. Is is it a tournament you see happening? Um, who do you see winning the tournament? Obviously, I'm going to do separate videos on most of this stuff. I'm going to milk the crap out of it, let's be fair. So expect more content on this topic. Um, yeah, share your thoughts down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. But don't, I'll catch you on the next one. Love.